Hi guys and welcome back to part 2 of the top 10 most anticipated rock and metal albums of 2017. Now if you've not seen part 1 where I go from numbers 10 to 6, I'll leave a description below. Uh, but now it's time to get into it. So let's start off at number 5 and the most anticipated rock and metal albums of 2017 is Rammstein. Yes, the German industrial metal legends are back with a new album and lead singer Till Lindman has stated that they're currently still in the process if all goes to plan, they're hoping for a sort of autumn or fall depending on where they are, 2017 release of a new studio album. Next on the list, we have System of a Down. Yes, you heard me right, System of a Down are hoping to release a new album in 2017. Now, they could set a new record here because I think it's been about 11 or 12 years, depending on when this album was released, that there will be a new album from System of a Down. In a recent interview with Kerrang! magazine, the drummer John Dolmian has stated that they're not, listening, they're not looking to release another Toxicity Part 2. What they're looking to do is inspire a new generation of System of a Down fans with this new album. Number 3 is 30 Seconds to Mars. This album for me is probably my favourite, um, but I've tried to be unbiased um, because I am an Echelon member. Um, but the band last year, they released a teaser uh, around about August 2016, just a short film. Uh, it was just locations in the desert and it finished with Jared Leto coming up to look like he was going to lay down some vocals and it came up with Mars Interscope 2017. Now Interscope does in this instance not relate to an album name but the new record label that they've signed with and who they'll be releasing this new album under. Every so often Jared Leto or the band will post other wee pictures of them in the studio to get the echelon really excited but all we know is it should be a 2017 release but we've no idea kind of when so as with any kind of 30 seconds Mars new release there'll be an extensive tour as they are prolific tourers. Into the top two now, and at number two, we have Linkin Park. Now, as with 30 Seconds to Mars, Linkin Park also released a wee teaser on Boxing Day to keep the fans going, and this video was Chester Bennington laying down new vocals in the studio while the camera panned round to show that all the instruments that were there and ready to be recorded for this new album. This new album, expected in 2017, will be their seventh studio album. And while recording it, Mike Shinoda actually laid down an open letter to the band, saying that all the foundations were there, and he's challenged the band to make this their best ever album. So looking forward to hear what that sounds like. So here we are guys, we've made it, we've counted down from number 10, and here we are, the number one, in my opinion, most anticipated rock and metal album due to be released in 2017 is from Stone Sour. Yes, Corey Taylor has confirmed it in a recent interview with Loudwire. He was stating that 2016 he had a lot of priorities with Slipknot and that Stone Sour planned to go into the studio in January, February this year, hoping for a summer release. Now, this will be their first album with the new guitarist Christian Martucci. So this album is a follow up to the double part album of the House of Gold of Bones that they released three years ago and Corey Taylor is told that Stone Sour fans can expect you know, the metal, hard rock and punk influences that have made Stone Sour such an important force in the music industry today. So there we have it guys, proof that 2017 is going to be a huge year for rock and metal with the hopefully if all these bands deliver and the albums that we're hoping to discover and there we have it from five to one so in my view number one again is stone sour as i did last year and um, as soon as these albums come out i'll give them a listen and give a review for you as soon as i can thanks for watching the channel and stay tuned for more in 2017 and as always if there's any albums that you wish me to to review whether you're an unsigned band, please just leave a comment or get in touch. Thanks.